Windows 7 will not run DOS programs. There is a DOS command prompt in Windows 7, but if you try to run a program that you have loaded, an old DOS program that you have loaded into uh, your new Windows 7 computer, as I did this one, it's there, but you get, if you try to run it, you get this notice that says this version of, uh, of the program is not compatible with the version of Windows uh, you're running. Check your computer system information to see whether you need an, a 32-bit or a 64-bit version of the program and then contact the software publisher. Well, the software publisher for my old DOS program went out of business a long time ago but uh, I've been able to run it up through and including XP. Can't run it now. There is a way to uh, to run DOS in a Windows 7 machine. You have to upgrade to Windows 7 Professional which costs about 80 bucks. And then you have to activate the XP mode in Windows 7 Professional and run it, run your DOS programs on a vertical, virtual machine. Let me show you what that means. After you do that, when you go to the start world in your Windows 7 computer and then go to all programs, you will find down at the bottom of your all programs list a folder that says Windows Virtual PC and in it you will find Windows XP mode. When you click on that you will see your old familiar XP desktop with my computer, maybe Internet Explorer, if you load it, a start menu that looks uh, pretty familiar, and um, whatever programs you load on this virtual machine. The virtual machine is not exactly the same as your regular Windows 7 computer. For example, it will have, in the start menu, it will have accessories. When you go to all programs, it will have accessories, and in accessories, it will have Windows Explorer. And if you put a shortcut to that Windows Explorer on your desktop, you can double click on it, and you will see your familiar XP uh, Windows Explorer window. However, when you go to my computer, you will see that it has a floppy drive, which of course it doesn't. It has a C drive in the virtual machine, and then it has the C drive on your new computer, which I called an HP from Fry's. This is my real C drive on my new computer. I have to copy programs from here to here, the C drive on my virtual computer, if I want to run them in this virtual machine. And I have done that and have some shortcuts here where I can run, for example, uh, my old copy of WordPerfect or, let's see, I need to go to F7 to get out of here. Save document, no. Exit word perfect, yes. And then close. Or I can go to uh, my DOS spreadsheet program, Lotus123. And that will run just fine. Problem is, you can't go to full screen. You can put the, the uh, the desktop for Windows XP to full screen, but you can't get this DOS program to run in full screen. It will just 
leap up here to the top, but it doesn't get any bigger. There is another way where you don't have to upgrade to Windows 7 Professional. It's called DOSBox. It is an emulator that will run in Windows 7 and in it you can run DOS programs. When you Google DOSBox, you get this array of information about DOSBox. You can download it. It's free. You can learn about basic setup and installation of DOSBox. And there is a DOSBox wiki, which has all sorts of information. It was primarily built to run DOS games that people just loved and weren't willing to give up when Windows 7 came along. But for me, it runs my Lotus 1-2-3 program very nicely. Here it is and it works fine. I can load one of my spreadsheets and it does take a while to load not as fast as the old XP world but I can still track stock prices or ETF prices as this one is and uh, work my boolean algebra formulas to tell me all sorts of interesting information the disadvantage is I can't copy and paste. You can't highlight here. I'm trying to, I'm holding down my left mouse key and dragging, which would on any other program highlight this area. If I want to highlight, I have to use the XP mode and run DOS there. But here, there is another advantage. If I type Alt Enter, the spreadsheet goes to full screen. And that is a very condensed version of how you get to run some of your old DOS programs if you can't live without them after you buy a Windows 7 computer.